Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I'll explain how to use SPSS for brand new users and also how to calculate descriptive statistics. I'll show you SPSS workspace, how to create variables and how to interpret. So if you're ready, let's get started. SPSS is commonly used for statistical analysis in behavioral sciences and social sciences like psychology but it works well for lots of other fields nowadays. I'm using version, SPSS version 26, but honestly, there is no significant difference between different versions. So it's okay, whatever version you use. Anyway, um, there are two view modes to SPSS. There is data view and variable view. Data view is basically just a spreadsheet where we enter the numbers. Each row represents, uh, represents one subject, case, or participants. And each column is dedicated to a variable or type of measurement. And variable view is where we can define our variables and change default properties of each if it's needed. Um, here, each variable is in a row and the properties are in columns. Um, but um, notice that while naming a variable, you must know that you cannot use a space or begin it with a, with a character or a number. Instead of a space, obviously, you can use an underscore. Um, okay. Um, here we have an example. Um, in our example, we have three types of variables, um, which are blood sugar level, names of the patients, and their gender. If you want, you can add descriptions by defining here in label column. Um, like, I want to add more description to blood sugar level. For example, I want to say that blood sugar level um, was measured in milligrams per deciliters and like that. Um, an important property here is the type of data. As you can see, the default type is numeric, um, but we can change it. Um, here is different types of data that you can choose from. Um, a string is for words and letters, but here numeric is what we want. And the second important property is measure, which specifies the scale of measures you'll be using. Totally, there are four scales of measurement, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Um, here in SPSS, interval and ratio are called scale. And, okay. The other measure, like widths, specifies how wide or narrow the string variables in trees can be. And, Decimals specifies how many decimal places will be appeared. Um, nominals don't need that, but for the scales, we can just leave it in two decimals. And column specifies how wide or narrow the columns will show in data view. And you can also just adjust the column by hand in data view, as you can see. And a line is used to set your data to be right justified, left justified, or centered. To clear a variable, you should select that variable and go and choose edit and then clear. And you can see it's not there anymore. So. Let's define our variables and name for the name of the patients. 
and obviously it's nominal and we don't need to change other properties and for gender I'm going to code gender um, because we need to define the value so not to confuse them um, which one is male and which one is female uh, I'm going to set all of the ones as female and twos as male um, notice that here these numbers does, do, do not represent any order you could just name them by any number that you want and it's not an ordinal scale they're just placeholders and for blood sugar level since is um, it's a quantitative variable and has fixed interval between the scores and meaningful zero so it's set to scale because it's ratio level and i'm going to enter the data in data view um okay by pushing this button you can toggle between numbers and value levels labels that we defined uh, but what if we have missing data and what are missing data actually if we have two females that don't represent any measured blood sugar level as you can see they automatically will become missing data these dots means that the, that these data are missing um okay how we can calculate measures in SPSS? so you need to go to analyze and then descriptive statistics but here for calculating measures of tendency and measures of frequency you can use the first three functions frequencies descriptives and explore however they have different options from each other as well but once you have calculated your descriptive statistics using either of these functions you will be ready to re report them here i'm going to choose frequencies first so analyze descriptive statistics frequencies uh, we can pick the variable that we want to analyze and put it in the right side um, by through three ways uh, first just by clicking the center arrow and or just dra drag and drop and or just by double click and as you can see here it's the, the result um, how to interpret these outputs the first table is a summary of variables gender has no missing data but we have two missing values for blood sugar level and valid numbers in uh, valid numbers means those for whom we have scores and first table says that we have 12 valid scores for gender five males and seven females column of person and valid person are the same because we have no missing data for gender as i said and the second frequency table is for blood sugar level that we have missing value here so you see that valid is 10 and two values missing in data set called system missing and another, uh, another thing that you should notice is that we can also um, do analysis in output sheet and we don't need to go back to data view so choose analyze descriptive statistics frequencies and charts bar charts percentages 
and continue and then OK. Um, you see here the, the chart for gender, that it has two distinct bars that we estimate the percentages of each, as you can see. And for blood sugar level, we have other charts as well. So go back to analyze, descriptive statistics, frequencies, chart and peak histogram, and also choose show normal curve. And but what about descriptive statistics? We need to calculate mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance as well. So we just go in there and choose all of them. Click continue and then OK. OK, let's see the results. In the output table, we can see that the average was 133.3. The median was 128, highest level of sugar was 220, lowest level of sugar was 70, um, the range was 150, uh, mode was 98, standard deviation was 48.6, and variance was 2369.34. You can see that the histogram for blood sugar level, um, that the shape of data match reasonably well with the normal distribution. But as you can see for gender, it doesn't look good. So here is an important thing that we learn. That for nominal data like gender, uh, we should report them with frequencies and a bar chart. And scale variables like blood sugar level should be reported with a mean, standard deviation, and a histogram. Okay then. But what if we want to split that by males and females and have the results by gender? Okay, click on analyze, compare means, and select the first one means okay so we have two types of variables here dependent variables and independent variables obviously gender can't be a dependent variable so blood sugar level here is the um, dependent variable and gender is uh, the independent variable and okay and we can see means and standard deviation for females and females separately and together. Uh, 158.4 for female for males and 108.2 for females. And as we are, we have already calculated, 133.3 is the total mean. And as you can see, males' blood, a uh, lot of sugar level of sugar blood is 58 milligrams per deciliter more than compared to females and that was the results frequency frequency cons charts and descriptive statistics are a great way to take a picture of your data and see the results more clearly so thank you so much for watching this video and in the next video, I'll show you how to calculate these values, especially descriptive statistics in Python.